Hi guys, it's Nick. Right, I've got another bit of a pickups video for you. I went out again at the weekend, went to several car boot sales and didn't pick up masses, but I got, I don't know, a, a fairly average assortment of stuff. I thought I'd do the same thing as last week again and break this into two parts. So I'll do all the media stuff and then I'll follow this up with another video showing you everything else. So I will crack straight through it. Um, I went to one stall um, and he had several crates just rammed with media. And when I got there, this was fairly early on, um, there were just people everywhere and I got what I could. Um, I was trying to scan things into Amazon and it was a bit tricky, but I'll show you what I picked up the first time and then I went back later and got another load. Um, yeah, I picked up this, which is Alien Isolation on 360, factory sealed and you can see I've tried to write on the stickers what I paid and what I am going to try and get back. So paid 150 and I'm sending this to FBA and I'm going to ask 17. With the FBA prices bear in mind that is before fees so there will be a chunk of fees to come off that. Um, same stall again the first time I visited there was this which is damages and this is complete season one and two again sealed. Uh, paid one pound and I'm sending this to FBA and I'm going to ask 25 Same stall again same visit this space shuttle PC game uh, Paid one pound. I'm going to send it in at 30 um, It doesn't have a particularly good rank it's got some really bad reviews as well, but it looks like it sells every now and again. There's no FBA sellers, um, certainly not for new. So I might as well just aim high and see what happens. I can always come down. But that's my plan with that one. Uh, Tales of Monkey Island, sealed again on the PC. Um, paid a pound again. And it's a similar story with this, but I'm going to ask 30. This has got a better rank and seems to sell more often. Um, I don't think there was any FBA sellers again, so I'm going to aim high on that one. Shoot for 30. And another one, same stall, same price, £1. Silent Hunter, Battle of the Atlantic. And I'm going to go for 20 on this. And paid a pound, so that was pretty nice. And a couple of DS titles. Um, these Imagine ones. Um, these are so old now, but they still have a market and there's very few people with any new stocks. So I'm going to send it into FBA and ask 11 on that paid 150. So not amazing, but there's some money in it. They're pretty high ranked really, as in low numbers, but a good rank. <laughs> I get so confused with what is a high rank and a, and a high number and a low rank and a good, yeah. Sells well. And another, imagine one, this is the teacher, again, sealed. I wouldn't have probably bothered if it wasn't sealed. Uh, they're so cheap, new. Um, but sealed, I'm going to send to FBA and ask 12. And again, I paid 150. So that was those. And that was the first time I visit visited that stall. And then I went round uh, the whole boot sale. Andrew was with me on this one. and went round picking up loads of clothing for the shop and other bits. Came back. I don't know, an hour, two hours later. And he was still there. And I went back up to him and he was asking 50p on everything by that point. It's always worth going back to stalls that you've already, already been to, especially if you can hang around till the end of a boot sale because a lot of time people are in the mindset that they want to get rid of this stuff. And as the boot sale starts, starts to wrap up, Quite often people will slash their prices, they just want to get rid of stuff. And this guy was definitely in that frame of mind. So I went through, there was hardly anyone there by this point, so I had the freedom to just take my time and go through everything. And I was just scanning the stuff in front of the guy. He, he didn't really care what I was doing, wasn't really paying any attention. So I was scanning it all straight into Amazon. And I picked out another little stack of stuff that was worth doing. And as I say, at this point, everything was 50p. Um, in fact, I think the CD was 20p. I can't remember. Uh, I've got 50p on there. Let's go with 50p. Something in here was 20p. I think it was this. Anyway, this is Porcupine Tree double, like best of album. 
factory sealed. I'm going to send this one into FBA and ask 12. A couple of the DS games that the first time round I had passed on, I grabbed them at 50p. Both factory sealed. There's this Power Cricket, Freddie Flintoff one. Um, I'm going to send that in and ask 10. The first time I scanned that, um, there were loads of people selling it new, really, really low. Um, but at 50p, I just picked it up. I don't even think I scanned it again. And looking at it again, there's no FBA sellers, I don't think. So I'm going to, it's it's a really low, you know, high ranked, as in doesn't sell very often, got a high number rank. Um, but yeah, I was, for 50p, I can't really lose out. And I'm going to send it in and ask a tenner. This crossword one that I didn't bother picking up the first time round, uh, at 50p, I grabbed it. I'm going to send it in and ask a fiver FBA. Yeah, hardly worth it, but at 50p I wasn't going to leave it behind. This was nice. David Gilmore, famous for being in Pink Floyd. This is a double live DVD. And 50p, and I'm going to ask £11. It's not sealed, it's used, but the discs are mint. Uh, so yeah, that was a nice pickup. Then he had a few more PC bits that I didn't pick up the first time round. Either I didn't see them, um, or I don't know. I think I just don't, I didn't see them because I couldn't get to some of the crates. There was just people everywhere. Um, but yeah, these ones were still there when he was doing them at 50p. Wings over Europe, and I'm going to send that one into FBA at £12. Farming simulator. I certainly didn't see this the first time because I, I would have picked it up even at the other prices. He was charging about a pound, pound fifty for games the first time around. So yeah, farming simulator. <laughs> yes, such a thing does exist. This is 2011 one. Um, doesn't have a particularly good rank, so it might take a while to sell. But I'm going to pitch it at the top end of 30 pounds. Why somebody would want the 2011 one? I think they reissue this every year. I don't know, maybe it's got a particular type of tractor on it, who knows. Or a certain type of cow. Who knows, anyway, I'm gonna send that in and at 50p, I just can't lose. This was a great find. VFR Real Scenery, now what these are, these are scenery packs that go with um, Microsoft Flight Sim, you see Flight Sim X there. Um, yeah, and there was hardly anyone with new copies of this. And I don't think there were any FBA or there were very few. Uh, 50p again, and I'm going to send this one up for £25. And that's brand new factory sealed as well. Uh, another factory sealed PC game. Not a lot of value in this one. I'm going to ask 7 And that again was 50p. Like I say, everything was at this point. So I, I grabbed a few bits. This is outnumbered, again, factory sealed, series one and two in one pack. Uh, not a lot of value in it though, I'm gonna ask seven on that one. And then a random Wii game which is used, but in lovely condition. This is Pony Friends 2. Not a great amount of value, but at 50p worth doing, I'm going to ask six. So that will all be sent straight into FBA, along with I think pretty much all of this. So I'll whisk through these. We've got a Julian Cope Jehovah Kill uh, limited edition album. Uh, I'm going to ask £10 FBA for that. Paid a pound. It's a shame it's got a little rip on this sticker. But there we go. Nothing I can do about that. This is the Icarus Line Slave Vows CD. Pay 50 pence, going to ask five pounds FBA. The Goons sealed CD album. I think it might be a double, not sure. Um, yeah, pay the pounds, going to send that one in at six. This random CD, Amadou and Mariam, welcome to Mali. No idea sealed um paid a pound going to ask eight fba good old cliff richards um i only picked it up and scanned it because it was sealed again and i'm going to ask eight pounds fba on that spent 
50 pence. Another San Andreas, I think I picked up two of these the other week. Got another one today in great condition. It's got its map and the manual is under there as well. Um, I'm gonna send this one in on its own. Um, and I think I'm gonna do it for seven pounds FBA. Might go a bit higher because it's in really, really nice condition. Uh, and that was 50 pence. Uh, three of these from the same stall. I got the three for two pounds, so works out at 66 pence each. <sighs> Debatable whether it was worth bothering with, really. I did scan them, uh, I think, if I remember rightly. And you're looking at about four to five pounds each. But with FBA, there's a fair chunk of fees to come off that, so it's not going to be a whole lot left. But they had really good ranks, they tend to sell really quick, so yeah, should do okay on that. But nothing amazing. Uh, this was nice. Ancient, yeah, Ancient Egypt, the greatest pharaohs, uh, triple disc box set. It's a Discovery Channel, oh no, sorry, History Channel collection. Got it for 50 pence, and I'm going to send it in and ask 10. Uh, another stall, there were three box sets and she asked a pound each on these two which are Desperate Housewives. There's not a lot of demand for these anymore so prices are fairly low. I paid a pound each on these two as you can see and I'm going to ask eight and nine on those two. The other one this lady had she asked 50 pence for and there's very little value in this, 5.50. But still just about worth doing for the amount of work it is to me with this lot. This will all just be scanned, labelled, shoved in a box. And that's my work finished. So, you know, even if I make like two or three pounds on that, even if it's only two pounds, it's no extra work. One extra label to stick on and chuck it in a box. So for the amount of time invested, I think it's worth doing. Um, these are quite interesting. Essex Past, so history DVDs. Um, I got three DVDs for a pound off this one stall. These two, so 33p each, and I'm going to ask five pounds each on FBA on those. They're used ones. Same stall, a sealed Rasta Mouse kids TV show with this little mouse guy with his sort of afro hair um, and yeah I'm gonna shoot high on this and go for 10 pounds FBA a couple more bits here I picked up a friends box set now these used have virtually no value at all because there's just so many out there um, I scanned this one because it was sealed and I was quite surprised uh, the cheapest is about the 18 pound mark, so I'm gonna go at that, send it into FBA, paid a pound, so that was quite a nice find in the end. And last one, oh no, sorry, there's a stack of cheapo stuff, hold on. Uh, this is um, Parkinson, Parky Picks, um, DVD, paid a pound, I'm gonna send that one in and ask 10, and then, just a few bits that were, some stalls, the DVDs were 20p and I just picked up some stuff that's Disney. There's a couple of, oh no, these weren't 20p, these were 50p. Uh, standard sort of bundle for the Toy Story and Cars. And then I think everything else here was 20 pence. Most of this, if not all of it, was off one stall. The random CBeebies song pack not worth a great deal, might FBA it. And then some stuff for Christmas kids bundles that I find do well, this sort of thing. Santa Claus. I grabbed that Peter K thing DVD. Um, thinking with the whole Peter K DVDs, the price is going through the roof recently. I thought that one might be worth doing, but it really isn't. Uh, Davina, these bundle up well if you get two or three, or if the one to look out for is the pregnancy fitness one. Uh, but yeah, and then a few more are oh, Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman, Long Way Down. I'm going to pair that up with another one I've got, which is Long Way Round, and see if they'll shift. And then, yeah, a couple more Disney bits and a Billy Connolly 
complete TV series. So, yeah, that's it for the media. Not too bad. Like I say, most of this will just be scanned straight into an Amazon FBA shipment and sent away. Um, so, yeah, quick and easy to do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, there will be another roundup of the rest of stuff, the stuff that I picked up in a separate video, which will be heading your way soon. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye for now.